All right, video three on the air conditioning on this Prius Gen 1. So now I'm into the vacuum procedure. I already bled out the, ref not refrigerant, the nitrogen that was in the system. I bled that out and then hooked up the uh, vacuum pump and I'm pulling it down and I'm st stagnating right here around a thousand microns. It's starting to level off and not really move much. Uh, well, we jumped, they had a little jump there, but other than that, it's just coming to a dead head right here. If you watch this on a graph, you would have seen it drop really fast right into microns. And then as it was approaching about 1500, it started leveling out and slowing down, but it was still going down. And as it approached level 100, uh, 1100 uh, and below, it's going slower. So this is its level out point. Now, is it because of a leak or is it because of moisture? Some leaks don't leak under vacuum. I could have a big leak. This was at zero PSI, but I could have zero leak at vacuum. That situation does exist and it exists quite often, especially when you're not on hard ACR or rigid copper, like in commercial or residential, you're on cars would have rubber and hoses and O-rings that pull inwards and seal on an oil film when you have a leak. So let's turn off the vacuum. Let's see what happens steadying out you see it you're going oh my god it's it's going down uh that's think of a wave in a tank when you push a fish tank and it goes back and forth and it levels out until there's no more waves vacuums doing the same thing how's that for an analogy um okay so we're really not rising so i have no like big leak that i could read under vacuum and i was able to get way down here really fast and level out at about here and unless it's a leak I'm going to kind of bank on there's no leak under vacuum, but there is a leak under pressure. Unless it's a leak, and this Prius is not the electric compressor. It is the clutch with a shaft seal at a clutch that actually works. It's not a three-phase high-voltage electric compressor on there. Got to make that clear because some people automatically think Prius, they think electric compressor. No, this does not have ester oil ND11. This has PAG ND8 oil uh, in this compressor. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there. I'm done what I'm gonna, oh, one other thing. Every time, and I've stressed this in other videos, always check the capability of your vacuum pump and your gauges through your ga hoses and up to your fittings by disconnecting your couplings from being engaged to your service systems to the, to the fittings in the system. Make sure your, your gauges and hoses can pull down below what you wanna achieve. So just simply back off your gauges and watch the vacuum backing off so now they are open they are not engaged with the system let's open up the vacuum now you know what the capability of your gauge set with all your connections fittings rubber o-rings hoses and everything there you know this is capable of going down below three or four hundred ps uh microns uh, and if you leave it here to dry out a little more because i had refrigerant in this from the last job i have to bleed it i have to actually ev evaporate or off gas the slight oil contamination and refrigerant inside my lines are contaminating my micron reading with the little bit of refrigerant that is in the off gassing out of the coating of contaminated refrigerant oil in my refrigerant lines and this is why using a gauge set and refrigerant hoses for performing deep vacuum pressure tests is not a good thing but you're limited to what you have and if money is an issue and and time and stuff like that everyone gravitates towards simple easy cheap and fast so they use their refrigerant analog gauges and a micron meter built in here instead of on the system as their testing point. You got to know the limitations of your tools and what will cause you problems if you don't know how to diagnose. So we know what, we know what this system can do. So let's uh, connect it back up. And I will go get, I got the gauge already hooked up. I got my scale and my gauge reading for my scale, wireless right here. Excellent scale by Navac. Um, I'll go get the refrigerant, turn off the camera, put it down so I could grab my two hands, put my gloves on and hook up the next phase, charging with refrigerant. 